Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Nelson Craig Farm. I'm Dave, wishing you a happy 4th of July weekend. It is currently Saturday, July 1st, 2023, and we're going to start working on the garden today. Yes, we are. So here we go. Say, do you know why married women are often a little bit heavier than single women? The single woman comes home, takes a look in the fridge, sees what's in there, goes to bed. Married woman comes home, sees what's in bed, and goes to the fridge. <laughs> yeah, tell me I'm not wrong. <laughs> and in all fairness, tell me that doesn't work both ways. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if this isn't close enough to make this happen here. Unfortunately, this is where I dumped the rototiller off last fall when the tractor was delivered and it hasn't been moved since. So I'm not much liking that idea. That will be that side. So the other thing we're going to do today is see if we can't get this old girl in where she's supposed to be. Yeah. You know, actually, I don't know. I think that's supposed to actually be hooking up on the inside there somewhere. But we'll see what it says. Yeah, by golly, I think that's actually supposed to line up on the inside of that. Yeah. So, let me pull this other side back. Raise this up a bit. Yep. Down. Down. Something kind of like that on that side. And this one's too far forwards. But that's, we can move it by hand. There's that one. And the top link, too short. been reading online some people seem to really have issues with some of these LS brand tractors um, but what I'm reading I'm thinking a lot of them just don't know how to use a tractor they think it's a backhoe or an excavator or bulldozer and don't realize it can do that work but it isn't meant to do that work but for me Folks, this thing has been absolutely marvelous. I have no complaints at all about this machine. It's even done a regen cycle. In fact, I didn't even really know it was doing it other than I saw the light on the dash. Yeah. Okay, that's hooked up. I'm gonna get this PTO stuffed in there. And it's already been cut to the right length, it looks like. Yeah, I can get that on there. Okay, there goes the shaft on. He'll have to come up with a little bit of something to hook on here to keep this part of it from spinning and uh, yeah there's a loop here to tie off to and a loop here to tie off to depending on however you want to do it plus it needs some grease fittings 
greased there and there and on the U joints on this thing and then we'll be in business and uh, ready to go. My in-town job wanted me to sign up for a 401k. I thought better of it. There's no way in heck they're going to get me to run that far. <laughs> okay, everything is greased up now on the rototiller. It's an MRT 3560A, meaning it's 60 inches across. And uh, yeah, that grease fitting down there is greased. PTO shaft is greased, so is the safety shield. The shield's tied on with some baling twine up to there, keep it from spinning. I even greased the up and downy handle back here and a few other parts and pieces and the loader bucket. So I'm breaking a sweat now because it's pushing 90 some degrees out already today. It isn't even noon yet. And uh, we're going to go to Tillon. Yeah, so here we go. I haven't even made it out to the field yet and I've already spotted an issue that I'm going to have to deal with. I'm not dealing with it right now though because uh, I'd have to take the tiller back off, put the hitch back on here uh, to tow something. But what the problem is, is I forgot that I'd left the old international disc sitting out here right in the middle of the garden patch. Yes, I have. So anyway, we're going to uh, try to work around it a little bit today and see what we can do with that sitting there. And we'll just have to till that up by hand with the uh, little walk behind tiller. Okay, let's see here what's been up. I guess that thing doesn't flip up as far as I thought it did. Uh, yeah, those tines, I don't know that you can see them. They're barely scratching the surface. They need to be digging in about six, eight inches. And if we look here at the soil, where it was, well, yeah, it could go a little bit deeper, but I think we'll be all right. We're going to have to be okay because that skid shoe is already up as high as it'll go. It's down on its lowest bolt hole setting right there. So, yeah, we're going to have to live with it just the way it is. Only thing is, though, I think the thing is tilted forward that way. So I need to lengthen the top link to make it more this way. Maybe that'll help it dig in a little better. If I move this back down, this shaft here is almost to the point where it could drop down and get in a bind. So I think what I'll do, if I can, is pull this pin here and drop the top link down a pin hole or two. And that'll help push it back up right a little bit more vertical and get this in a better angle so that it doesn't go over center and drop down. Okay, I've got the top link moved from the top pin hole down to the bottom hole, and that gives a much better angle of alignment on this end here. Uh, the other way it was, it was so steep and so above it that I was afraid that the uh, tiller would nose dive down in this piece here, would nose dive down into the PTO shaft, and that'd be not good. Okay, let's raise this thing up back up and try it again. I've uh, lowered that top link down on the tractor end. There's three different locations it can go, so I dropped it down to the lowest one it has. We'll turn on that. Wind this up and let's see what it does this pass. This ground out here is really packed hard and it's dry, so we may have to uh, run over it a couple of times to get it to uh, dig in and do right. Of course, all the junk in uh, mixing in with the dirt isn't helping either. Yeah, I know it's too late uh, in the year to be doing a garden plot, but uh, that's exactly what we're setting up to do. 
come out past the uh, riser there and we'll see what we got going now okay let's check the ground here it's got a bunch of the weeds and stuff still in it yeah that's down a good amount of ways for a garden yeah eh, about five inches there that's about all it's gonna dig so that's good let's go down here and this is where it was moist where the water leaked out a little bit out of the missing gate over there in the pipe let's see what the second pass did here oh yeah much better yep yep so changing that angle helped on that it really did on the uh, tiller and a little bit of ground moisture is going to be the thing but we're going to spend the next hour or so tilling just a little bit of this area here like where it's kind of green and out a little further maybe uh just big enough area so we can do the pumpkin patch and yeah i'm still gonna try to get a pumpkin patch in even though it's the first of july Woohoo! one nice thing about this tractor and being a hydrostatic drive is the very function that i'm using right now it's cruise control i have the transmission it's a three speed in the low range and i've set the uh, cruise control with about a 2000 rpm and uh, just a real super slow crawl space or pace and uh yeah that's what it's doing out back here yeah um the ground is awful awful dry so even if i don't get a uh, pumpkin patch put in this year for this fall i'll at least have a garden plot kind of halfway lined up and ready to go for next year Yep, slow going and some hard ground down there. I think what we're going to do is kind of get this uh, stirred up a little bit, get the weeds knocked down. And into the ground, we're going to put a sprinkler or two out here and uh, run some of the pump water out here. And... Uh, soften that up a little bit and then till it again before we plant it well like an idiot I left that uh, landing gear foot down in the down position anyway and uh, I got the pin up in the locked position so that doesn't do us much good does it fortunately it doesn't look like it hurt anything but we're gonna get that fixed right quick here pull that out get a pull pardon me I'm doing this with all with one hand here put the pin back in there with the foot up there we go stick that little clip back in there and we're good there yeah um, it's definitely stirring the dirt but uh, ain't quite what I want yet but it's doing it say do you know what the difference is between swine flu and bird flu? Give up? <laughs> one requires oinkment, and the other one requires tweetment. <laughs> oh, it's bad, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the LS seems to have plenty of power to run that rototiller just fine. It doesn't seem to be bogging down any. I do hear a lot of chatter, but that's of the uh, tiller backer bouncing around on this hard dirt. Yeah, um, we definitely need to get some compost in here. So we're going to try the pumpkins this year, see what happens. And if they grow, great. If not, oh well. But next year, yeah, I'm going to hire an outfit to come in and either coat this good with cattle manure or uh, compost. Yeah, we're going to treat this whole area really well. Um, my eventual goal is to turn this into a little bit of a fresh produce farm in this little strip right here as uh, the fresh produce growing area yeah it's kind of where i'd like to head to uh, unfortunately for me to have the time to really work it and work it well i'm going to have to be retired i think because uh, a couple of days a week off from the in-town job isn't going to cut it no 
Red Tractors made a comment in my last video about uh, how busy I am this year. And he's not a kid, and I'm three months behind on doing this garden plot work here. Uh, I've got a deck to put on my front porch yet. Uh, I did the thing I did to poor guy a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago where he stepped up on there in that six foot fencing and it doesn't reach both ends. Uh, so, <laughs> whack right in the face last night as I went down in between the joists for the floorboards. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's quite the sight to see, I imagine. Too bad I didn't have that on film. Y'all would have got a good kick out of that. Anyway, so, yeah, the porch needs to get done. The barn needs to get a paint job on it. i got to build a little fresh produce vendor stand yet so I can sell fresh veg out of it. I have a little office area kind of a thing where I can bring up sales and that type of thing for the garden plot that I'm working on. Uh, doubt that I'm going to be doing much in the way of gardening this year. Uh, it'll probably be more next year uh, when that gets up and running. So yeah, we got to try to take the little old shed that's out back here and uh, take it apart and use the lumber out of it to build the new little uh, fresh produce shack. I could go to like Bully Barn or Old Hickory Sheds and have a new shed purchased. But quite honestly, I can build my own and in the style I want. Plus, it'll be on metal skids, not the uh, wood skids that they build them on. So I need to be able to move it. Because one of the places I need to move it to probably is right out here where the disc is sitting. Uh, that's keeping me from tilling this little plot right here. Uh, that way when we're doing the pumpkin patch or fresh corn maize, whatever, you know, uh, we can use that as the office sell tickets and collect the funds and that sort of thing out of so yeah a lot of stuff to do this year got a hay wagon we got to finish i got the wheels uh sandblasted and painted uh got to get the chassis straightened out get a few parts replaced and repaired on it got to build a deck on it ton of things coming up yet this year so i don't know for those of you that are following we probably won't be a real active farm until next year and then it'll be just a little bit more than what we're doing this year I'm sure but uh, yeah I'm going to uh, as soon as we get the LS back from its 50 hour service I'm going to put the mower on it either use stinky and get over here and mow these tall weeds that are coming up in the uh, pasture grass field the west field and we're going to level that off and Put some water on it and see if we can't get what's already been seeded up. I think it's too late for that. And we'll probably end up having to reseed that this fall. So, yeah, a ton of things coming up. I just can't list them all here because we've run out of time in this video. So it's going to be long enough as it is. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. I'm getting the sprinkler set out here to start getting water to some of this garden plot here. And uh, yeah, with any luck, it'll be soft enough uh, here tomorrow that we can come back through again and re-rototill it and uh, get this to be a really good garden patch, maybe in a day or two even. We'll have to see uh, how far this sprinkler goes. I'll get another one or two out here. And, yeah, we'll get it all watered up. Anyway... From Nelson Creek Farm, I'm Farmer Dave, and I'd like to thank all of you that are the new subscribers. We've got a couple more in the last week or so. And as always, if you are following along, please, if you would, right down there, hit that red subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me and the channel, so if you would. I hate to sound like a salesman giving you a pitch, but that's the way it is. Anyway, if you like what the content is of this, please let me know. If you don't, also let me know. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down in the comment sections down there. You can leave something behind if you'd like. And as always, y'all be careful out there. I'm Farmer Dave wishing you well. Bye-bye for now.